Hey everyone, this is Haley from Cartoon Universe, and today I'm bringing you our first theory that concerns the wanted Steven Bomb. Today I'll be focusing on Lars and Lion, but we will get into the bigger and more complex theories very soon. Besides the big reveal that one of the diamonds is the most likely suspect for having shattered pink diamond, the other huge thing to happen in these bunch of episodes was to see Lars turn pink. And as we saw, this only happened after Steven healed him with his tears, which only happened after Lars died. If Lars had not been resurrected, then I would have been very shocked, but he was, and this came with a lot of unintended side effects. So I want to talk about Lars' future and role in the series, as well as how Lion came to be in the first place. Let's discuss Lion first, since he was transformed from an ordinary lion into the magical cat we see currently in this series long before Lars was even born. We now know exactly how Lion was turned pink, by Rose's of healing abilities. I would assume by her tears, but many have speculated that Rose's healing powers are the reverse of Steven's, and therefore she had healing spit as well, but her spit did what Steven's tears can do. This reminded a lot of people of something we saw in the very first episode. Lion Lickers. Is no food safe from being foreshadowing in this show? Maybe she just kissed his nose once he died and that worked? Any other way wouldn't really make sense. But either way, she was able to transform a dead lion into a magical being that not only has a pocket dimension, but can also warp to very far away places. And this just came from an ordinary lion, most likely the one we see in Buddy's book. But this was hundreds of years ago. We know this lion most likely got injured and died. What about the others? Surely they died too. Was Rose only able to resurrect one lion, or did she not discover she had this power until the last one died? I really hope this question is answered. But one thing is clear. Just like Lars, Lion is pretty much dead. Or he's almost dead. It's very interesting to look at the Lion concept art with our current knowledge of how he came to be. Just look at him. He is totally creepy looking. The concept art states that his grin is frozen but his eyes move. It's almost like he is a zombie. Which is exactly what he is. If he had stayed in this design, then it would have given a huge clue to what he really was. But I'm glad this wasn't the final design, because that would have given me nightmares and I can't even imagine what Lars would have looked like once he was reanimated. And as we know, since this is a line from Buddy's book, he is most definitely very old, and therefore is most likely immortal. Which brings me to Lars and his current state. His life rapidly changed in an instant, and if he ever makes it back to Earth, there are a lot of adjustments to his life he will need to make. Like I just said, Lion is immortal, and since Lion was brought to life just like how Lars was, then I believe that Lars is going to be living for a very, very long time. Will this be forever? Perhaps not. He still has a heartbeat, so it's possible that he will eventually die. But in his current state, it looks like he'll be stuck as a teenager for a while. And we know that he now has Lion's powers, so I would hope that eventually Lars figures out that he can teleport, and maybe, just maybe, he can get the off-color gems and himself to Earth. But Lion did have trouble going to just the moon, so traveling all the way to Earth is probably impossible for someone so inexperienced. But when he gets back to Earth, I can only imagine how different things will be for him. First of all, he is pink, which may not seem too strange compared to the purple coloration of Garner or Amethyst, but Lars has not been pink or had a scar on his eye until now, so people may not understand what happened to him. And if he lives forever, his relationship with Sadie cannot last. But after all this time on Homeworld, I think that Lars is a changed person that is more mature and will be able to make friends, even if it means that sooner or later he will lose them due to the passage of time, which is really sad to think about. Adding on to that, the one thing that we have seen him be really passionate about is baking. However, he now does not have an appetite for food, and may no longer find joy in making things he can no longer drive satisfaction from. Every aspect of his life is literally changed by this. That brings me to the question of if this is reversible. And I don't want to be a downer, but for the time being, it looks like it isn't. Just like Steven getting poof would probably mean his death, Lars getting rid of the effects of Steven's powers would probably undo what is keeping him alive right now. Maybe something could be done to get Lars' heart pumping at a normal rate, so he could age normally. Maybe the tree on the hill is connected to his powers, and if that gets chopped down he'll remain alive but lose his powers? Eh, maybe not. I just don't see a good ending for Lars if he keeps his powers unless he stops interacting with humans altogether. But there's probably no way to get rid of them without also ending Lars as well. I do believe, however, he will have a huge importance in future episodes, and maybe he will find his true calling in life and become an even better person. Now it's super fast tidbits of trivia time. Here's some random things I found while making this video that didn't really fit into the original script. Number one, Lion's Tree is the one that you would find in the savannah, while Lars's is one that you would find in Beach City. Number two, Lars's shirt now has a star. Seems like Peridot and Lapis are slacking behind. And number three, as Bedneys from Tumblr found, 
Lars probably got that fancy looking scar on his face due to his head literally getting cracked open after the explosion which led to him hitting that rock. Wow, that got real dark, real fast. But anyways, this could be seen as a symbolic representation of a gem getting poofed. They usually start wearing clothes or alter their design based on where they got poofed. So those are some quick thoughts and ideas about Lars and Lion after the newest episodes. I can't wait to talk about the diamonds and everything else that occurred in the special. And before I end this video, I want to give a huge special shout out to Evanite, a big Patreon supporter of ours. He asked us to tell you about his YouTube channel where he makes videos about gaming or other things going on in his life. In June, he's hosting a variety show, The Evanite Show, which will be live streamed on his channel. I'll provide a link to his channel in the description below, so make sure to check his channel out. Also follow us on Instagram at CartoonUV. I've been posting a lot on our Instagram story lately. On the story, I give you an insider's look at new videos and tell you about any upcoming events. As usual, thank you Patreon supporters. If you would like a shoutout like Evanite, please consider becoming a patron to our channel to get this or the many other reward tiers we have available. Thank you for watching.